This is our statement on politics. The irony, we reiterate again, very briefly, a Japan that embraces Western liberalism, Western feminism, all these bourgeois, all these bourgeois liberal world order values. It's Japan that could lose the core values, the core Asian values of the nation, as opposed to communist China, which was, you know, ruled by different regimes, different dynasties, all these conflicts between the nationalists and communists. So the thing is, here's the thing, uh, we watched on YouTube and we've been trying to find the, uh, the source video or the source the actual source that is being presented in the video, but we can't find it at all. Basically, there was to the effect, so for basically, the Chinese are basically nominally socialists. They're not, they don't have any real values. They're atheists. They're basically, they're atheists going to a Christian church. Nominal Christians, nominally socialists. So there was one presenter, so if we can find them, we can give them credit, but we can't find them on YouTube. Uh, maybe, I don't know if they deleted their video, if it's hidden, I don't know, but basically there was a, I think it referenced Twitter or X, basically there was a point where Xi Jinping allegedly told his uh, party members, you know, in a fit of rage, I'll, I'll tear down the, I'll, I'll, he's to the effect that I'll burn down the whole fucking party, I'll get rid of the Communist Party. You guys don't believe in com. I'll, I'll tear the whole fucking party down. None of you believe in communism anyway. I'll tear this down so that new, so, I'll, so that the nation can rejuvenate. So it almost seems like uh, did Xi Jinping go into profit mode? Did he did he prophesy unintentionally that the Communist Party must be t torn down in order for the Chinese nation to rejuvenate? So there's a this is kind of like a biblical pun. Uh, someone, you know, in the in the New Testament said, uh, it's better that one man should die so that the whole nation may live. Did, so if that statement is true, where he told his party elites, you know, none of you, quote, none of you fucking believe in communism anyway, communism anyway, I'll tear this whole fucking party down so that our nation can rejuvenate. So if he said that, it seems like, you know, did, did, did he see the light? Did he go into prophet, prophet mode? Did he see the light? But basically, in reality, so what you have is the Chinese are much more less liberal than Japanese. Um, if when you have an oath that's akin to, let's begin so-called the nominal socialist in name only. This this has nothing to do with Marxism. Let's let's begin something like this. Oath, my leader, I swear to be a fearless fighter for socialism with Chinese characteristics, for the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. That's not, that's not communism. That's not Marxism. That's, that's just all, that's just blatant, that, that would, that, that's just blatant rabid nationalism. But the key thing is, if Japan embraces feminism, liberalism, you don't need a war with China. You, you, that, when you embrace Radical feminism and radical liberalism, that's just, that's a self, that's the self implosion of the nation from within, not from without, folks.